viewers welcome to the video lecture series for job role hand embroiderer class 9 in this video we will learn about button hole stitch it is a type of loop stitch mainly used to finish button holes thus the name button hole stitch it is mostly used for floral design or motifs before we start the embroidery work we require some material like embroidery frame or hook fabric fabric should be clean starch free and ironed needle embroidery thread or floss thimble thread clipper or scissors carbon paper design or motif traced on butter paper pen or pencil preparation before embroidery before we start the embroidery work fabric should be clean starch free and ironed trace the design or motif on fabric through carbon paper place the fabric on even place place should be neat and clean now place the carbon paper and then place the design sheet now trace the outline of the design with the help of pen or pencil if your design skill or sketching are good you can directly draw the motif or design now your design or motif is ready fix the fabric on embroidery frame or hook for fixing loose the screw and separate the rings place small ring below the fabric and second ring above the fabric now tighten the screw stretch the fabric firmly and gently insert embroidery thread or floss into needle do not take too long or too short thread generally in embroidery thread there are 6 strand but for button hole we are taking 3 strands for embroidery work make a small knot at the end of the thread at one end only let's start the button hole stitch bring needle up or right side of the fabric from the center of the flower based on the width of the stitch insert the needle and take out from the other side the working thread is carried out under the needle point now pull the thread very gently so the loop is made The needle enters the same hole in the center each time, making a hole in the center while around it is filled completely. Continue in this way for entire design or line. While embroidering this stitch, the distance between two stitches should be kept equal. Never draw the thread very tightly because that destroys the effect of loops. the 
which bring the thread at the back side of the fabric and make a small loop. Bring needle into the loop. Pull the thread from the loop very gently. Now cut extra thread. Now your design or motif is ready. Let's summarize the embroidery steps quickly. Place the fabric at neat and clean surface and trace the outline of the design. Fix the fabric on embroidery frame or hoop. Start the embroidery work. After completion of the stitch, finish the embroidery work. So, thank you viewers, learn by doing and give your best. That's all for this video. In next video, we will learn about French knot. Till then, enjoy watching and keep learning.